so got up this morning and I just felt like I was trapped. Uh, this lockdown is really starting to get to me, so I decided uh, that my friend Krista and I, we decided that we would just go out no matter what. And we would go get our favorite food and even if we have to just eat it in the car or bring it back and eat it in the backyard, at least we're outside and at least we're getting out and we're dressed and yeah, it's been a long time. I'm getting really tired of being locked in my house. So uh, don't come to California. <laughs> So today is uh, New Year's Day and I have decided to just do nothing all day long. <laughs> so it's going to be a cozy day. I'm going to curl up with my laptop and I'm going to do some editing because I have a video about 45 minutes long um, that I need to get done for you guys and edit down to about 20 minutes because you don't want to see all 45 minutes of it so there is that and um i thought i'd tell you what i was wearing today because it was kind of cute and I have, if you can see it in this mirror it's hard to see it says friends this is my favorite sweatshirt of all times um my kids when they were growing up and they were teenagers and such we were us obsessed with the friends show we know every line from the show we we repeat it i mean we we talk i mean we start thinking about something and then immediately everyone at the same time will, will remember a a line from friends that you know it, it's just crazy i don't know but it's our thing it's our gig i even have a tattoo um with my uh my foster daughter uh Brittany and I decided to get tattoos it says I'll be there for you <laughs> from the song um from friends yep there's even that and stuff so anyway today I'm gonna hang out with my friends a sweatshirt that I got from Amazon and I've got my cute little necklace that I got from um as a gift from uh, Missimo. It's um, it's beautiful. I really love it. I wear it all the time now. Thank you, Missimo. And of course, my old leggings and my favorite, 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 favorite um, pink Ugg boots. So this is going to be me for the day. No makeup, hair put back. Um, I'm going to try to get some video of um, Bentley today because he is in hyper form. <laughs> so I'll catch you guys later.
goodness. All right, well, today is Monday, and I haven't had hardly any sleep. We had a um, family emergency last night that kept um, my husband and I, well, actually, the whole family up all night praying. My granddaughter, uh, Thea, she's three years old. Um, they live in Idaho, and they were playing on their sleds, and I guess the sled got going faster than her, or she got going faster than the sled. Anyway, she flew off, and she went down the hill, and she landed in uh, their tractor. <laughs> And, oh my goodness, I'll put some pictures up um, to show you. It just breaks my heart. Her whole face was just her cheek, her eye, her nose, her chin, a gash in her head. And then right here where the tractor, um, like blade, you could see the blade right here. And being so far away from them, it is just so, just so traumatic. We were getting information just in bits and pieces as as um, my daughter-in-law and son could you know get the information out to us and then we were giving information to the brothers and sisters my my son and his wife and um, my daughter and her husband and then my sister and you know just trying to get um you know a prayer chain going because we didn't know if she'd had brain damage. We didn't know um, if she had broken her cheekbone, her, her eye socket, her nose. It just, at first it just looked, it just appeared like it was gonna be really, really bad. And I'm happy to report that she has no uh, fractures. Um, and they don't think that she's got any long-term damage. They do have a little bit of a concern with her eye. She's, they're not sure if she can see out of it correctly because it's so swollen, they can't really, I guess they can't get into, um, really figure out what's wrong with it. So, um, yeah, so that's where we, we were up all night long and um, praying and, and just agonizing because we couldn't be there with my, um, you know, with them. So, yeah, that's how my Monday started out. Then I had to get up and I had to get ready for work and I was so tired. So I called off for a couple hours and uh, tried to sleep, which... You know, when, you know, like when something happens and it's like adrenaline's going, afterwards you're exhausted, but you still can't sleep. At least that was me last night or this morning. I just, I was just like wide awake. I couldn't, I couldn't get back to sleep at all. So, um, I should have just gone into work the first couple hours. I don't know what, what I was thinking. <laughs> but anyway, so now, um, I'm on my lunch break and then I gotta go back to work. See, I'm all in my my dark, gloomy colors. <laughs> I don't know, for some of you that don't know, I'm a sign language interpreter and I uh, work on a camera and I have to work dark colors so my hands contrast on, on, the, on camera. So if you see me in black or gray, that's usually because I've been working. <laughs> all right. Um, I'm going to catch you guys later. I just wanted to give you a quick update of what happened with our precious baby, Thea Rose. And I'd appreciate if you guys remember to pray. Pray that she has a quick healing. Okay, so I'm, get, I'm getting my juice out. My green juice. Here it is. Uh-oh, where'd it go? Oh, here it is. <laughs> nice fresh green juice for this morning. Yay, thank you. All right, so huh, we are off. 
Um, wow, it's kind of bumpy. Sorry, guys. I'm going to try to keep you as, uh, as firm as I can. <laughs> um, anyway, I am finally off to go to the dentist again. Uh, this time, we are actually working on the bottom teeth. Um, if you haven't been with me, um, I'm having a bunch of dental work done. I will pop a link up and you guys can catch up. But for those who know, <laughs> oh, I'm going to be living at the dentist probably for the next couple months. So I am getting, I'm not even sure exactly what I'm getting done in the bottom. Probably some fillings. Um, I know I have a bad um, toothache right here. And I'm kind of thinking that's a cavity there and I'm hoping that they'll fill that so I can get out of some pain and then after that um, I go to the endodontist to work on the uh, top teeth on the 19th I go and I have major surgery done so and again I'll drop the link uh, up here you guys can catch up to see what the journey with my teeth are <laughs> all related to cancer by the way we have to make sure and blame cancer for everything that happens in life after this <laughs> Just teasing you guys. Um, anyway, so I'm I'm kind of excited because we California's been on complete lockdown, and I get to go out for the second time in two weeks. Yeah, I know it's really a bummer. So it's pretty sad to be excited to go out just for a dental appointment but it is what it is and I'm trying to make the best out of it. And I've got my husband here. Say hi, honey. Hi, honey. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna make a date out of it. We're gonna go and, um, oh, I'm getting a P.O. box. I'm not gonna tell you guys where because, you know, they say not to. Anyway, we're going to go get a P.O. box and uh, so I can also uh, put that down in the comments below. Several have asked if I had one and I was like, am I supposed to have one? I'm not this vlogging and um, YouTubing uh, lifestyle is a little different for me. So I'm just now catching up after a year. <laughs> so I will get that done today too. So it'll be like our date. And maybe if I play my card straight, he will take me for Starbucks and I can have my favorite tea. So, we will see. I'm going to catch you guys later because I'm just going to ramble on and drive you guys nuts. That's a cheap date. Bye. Yeah, cheap date. Well, when nothing else is open. I was going to someplace really expensive, but since you only want Starbucks, cool. <laughs> well, I didn't say only want a Starbucks. I just said maybe that's one of the places. Considering nothing else is open, I guess, you know. Did you already say goodbye? That was it. So, oh, sorry. Yes, I said bye. Bye. Alright you guys, this is the last day of the weekly vlog and it was quite a week I'd have to say. Um, I'm going to share my thoughts on that in just a few minutes. But first I thought I'd share my today's outfit. Um, I feel like a snow bunny <laughs> or the pills or like my husband said a Pils Pillsbury dough girl. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. But anyway, this is it for today. Amazon boots. Yay! Cheap Amazon boots. I always love when I can get a deal. Legging Depot and H&M sweater. They rock. So, I am on my way out to get my scans done. And I will catch you guys in a little bit and kind of tie up the week. Okay, guys. <laughs> um... So, I am in the car, and I'm getting ready to go in to um, get my scans done, and I'm having a bit of anxiety. <laughs> you would think after all of the years doing this that I would just take a deep breath and get it over with, you know? But no, 
I have to work myself up into a what if scenario. So, yeah. So while I'm trying to get my courage to go in and get scanned, I am um, going to wrap up the week, wrap up the vlog. This week was such a hard week emotionally. It was just like a roller coaster. Um, I started the week out just feeling like I was just locked inside and like it was never going to end. Our lockdown has been for almost nine months and no family dinners out, no shopping trips with my niece or my daughter or my grandkids, no taking the kids to Disneyland or Knott's Berry Farm. No, I mean, our family is so social. We do everything together and it has just been a huge loss i mean of course we've done things together we've been together we've quarantined together um we got the coronavirus together <laughs> but you know just the normal traditions and stuff that we do we haven't done so it's it's just getting really 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 if i could say the f word i would say it really, really mm, 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 tired of it. <laughs> so, and also it's really sad because as I go down, drive downtown and stuff, so many businesses are closed, things are boarded up and it's like we're turning into a ghost town. People are without jobs, without Christmas presents for their kids. I mean, it's just, it's just getting to me. I mean, it's just really, really getting to me. So that's how my week started out on that note. And then um, it was, I think, Tuesday um, night, my husband, I'm getting ready to go to bed, and my husband runs downstairs and said, huh, there's been a terrible accident. Sorry. Um, baby Thea got hurt. And baby Thea is our youngest granddaughter. She is three years old and she is the most sweetest disposition child you've ever met. She smiles, she loves to look pretty. <laughs> she's a princess, she loves her princess clothes and she's just a typical little girl. She's also very tiny and very fragile and pretty and oh, just love her. Anyway, um, it just it just put me I just froze and what was really hard is that um, they're all the way in Idaho and for us to get to where they're at because they're up close to the Canadian border it would be a good six hours uh, before we could possibly get to them and that's after we got a um, a flight so yeah just a very, very uh, emotional time. Anyway, so we had to, we checked flights. We were like on standby. We waited while they got the baby to the hospital to see what was really going on. They sent us pictures and we were just like, oh my gosh, my heart just sunk, you know. And what happened was she was in, um, well, I think I already told you guys she was in a, a sleigh accident. So anyway, for, uh, a couple days it was just an emotional like wait and see if she's okay yes she's okay but then her eye um, her eye socket is swollen they don't know if she can see out of that eye I mean it was you know but overall she's fine she's I mean we're, we're, we're thinking she's fine um, I don't know if there's any long-term damage or not. We won't know for a while, but she appears to be healing really good and trying to smile, <laughs> her precious little smile, and trying to keep up with her brothers. <laughs> so baby Thea gave us a scare, but she's going to be okay. And so my emotions you know, up, down, all around from that. And then today, getting ready to go for my scan, I just, you know, I don't want to do it. 
<laughs> but you know what? I'm going to because big girls do what they're supposed to do. They follow through. <laughs> so I am going to tie up the vlog now. And I hope you guys have a great week. I hope you had a better week than I had. And um, I'll be following this video up with my New Year's ear, New Year's goals and hopefully some results from these scans. So if you guys don't already follow me and would like to follow my journey, it would mean so much and it would help me out so much if you would hit that subscribe button and set that bell up for notifications so you don't miss any videos. Um, I give you a complete, total, transparent look at my life as a stage four terminal cancer patient. Um, the ups and downs, everything. So if you wanna join my, uh, my journey and support me, I would really appreciate it. All right, you guys, I love you all. And Grandma Dot, I have been praying for you. You guys need to pray for one of our members here. She's been in the hospital and she's not doing too good. So um, we really, we, we, we need, need to really give her an extra love right now, okay? And that's why I put extra Brit, uh, Bentley uh, clips in because she loves Bentley. <laughs> so that was for you, Grandma. All right, love y'all. Bye.